Oh, I'll try that one more time. Hello, space engineers. <coughs> Let's have a look at the Pikachu. In fact, it's um, it's a uh, mining buddy that I've made. It's using the adaptation of the Red Queen script I made, but it looks a bit like Pikachu for some reason. I didn't mean that to happen. But here we go. So. It's um, basically it's a double grid. It's a small grid, which is the outside here, and in the middle is a large grid of a gravity generator. And the gravity generator, it <coughs> basically, this thing follows me around and helps me while I'm mining. When I dig the hole, it sucks all the stuff out from behind. So let's um. Let's just turn it on so we can see it. Um, here we go. So let's turn on the uh, show gravity here. And you'll be able to see. There we go. So it's got quite a long reach. <coughs> and it will follow me around using my favorite thing in the world, a super sensor. And at the back we've got a display showing what we got inside there. On off button, the computer. Um, got a connector inside there. And this big beak uh, button for the light. And here's a button for the um, extruder, extractor, whatever it is, ejector to eject uh, stone and stuff as you go along because uh, most people don't really want that but you can turn it on and off alright so let's give it a go you can also ride it, it's remote control as well if you want but I like its ability to follow me <coughs> it's got a couple of different ways it if it's far, far away from you it turns on uh, obstacle avo avoidance so it doesn't crash into things. As it gets closer to you, it uh, turns that kind of stuff off and adjusts its speed. It's always, at the moment, stuck on um, precision mode, docking mode. So it's quite slow, uh, but it is quite weak for thrusters at the back. So, so it doesn't crush things. It, it, well, it doesn't crush itself, really, is the main thing. Alright, so, yeah, I've just sensed, I'm far enough to sense that I'm moving around. Yeah, I'll just follow and stop before smacking into me. Let's go down here. Can't quite remember the range. I think it's like 10... 100 kilometers? Come here. At the moment, it's got obstacle, obstacle avoid, avoid, avoidance. God, I can't speak. And it's been an idiot. So there is a funny thing going on with that. Come on, pull yourself together. There we go. It does spaz out a bit sometimes. All right, here she is. So I like to get in here, in position, and here we go. It's quite nice because it gives you, a, if you leave this on, you can actually see a nice target on there. It's very, it's not very powerful, so it can actually just sit on the outside and it will try and come in. But if it can't, it won't destroy itself. As I'm uh, digging in here, it's uh, doing strange things. This is strange, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'm glad I got that on video. It really has 
just come in. Wow. This is obviously a very soft material. I'm going to get out of here. Because this is just... It's just not all, is it? Is it done? Houston, we have a problem. Oof. Yeah, it's just clipping into it. Very strange. Let's try it again. We've got a nice hole here, look at this. There we go. Right, let's get going. <coughs> I'm gonna watch it come in this time. Clipping straight in. Well, it could be an added bonus. It's a clipping ship. Anyway, let's uh, get in and do some more digging. Always when you're recording, huh? Playing with this thing for ages and it's uh, not had any problems. That looks a bit better. There we go. My computer is a bit of a potato, so strange things happen. Anyway pretty good. It's collecting it all. Let's um, go and check out some different materials. Let's go and get some stone, I think. Uh, there we go. She should come on. Will it be able to handle this? Not very well. Come out a bit. I don't know if uh, avoidance is on right now. It's probably too close. Oh, I should. I need to make some adjustments to that, I think. Let's see what happens if we get some boring old stone. Sucking it up? Yeah. Sort of. I don't know why these are. Uh, doing this by hand seems a lot easier than doing it with a grind uh, with an actual grinder for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. It is extracting it. So, that was on. Maybe we shouldn't have any stone in there. No. Pretty cool. Except for the clipping, of course. Um, all right, let's turn this off. 
and sail her back home. I'll put the seat on here for that. So, we could take remote control of it. Back it out. Spin it around. Make sure we're facing the right way. Here we go. So, let's just turn it off. Um, she's got good movement there. What you can do here is um, go into the internal for driving it around. Undocking it's quite easy. on that side, so let's get a little bit closer. Then I can go to the docking camera. There we go. Lock it in, and you can't unlock it because at the moment it's um, now it's stuck on the the large grid. So to undock it, I put a little button here, which will unlock it, and at that stage you can now. Um, my control, press P, oh, not P, there we go, there she's undocked, that's about it, it was quite interesting, <laughs> especially when it screws up, eh, alright, Pikachu, <laughs>